feels kind of weird having a little spider on me. Hey everybody, welcome to Collins Creatures. When I was mowing the meadow, I found this spider. And its web was destroyed, but I managed to save the spider. And while I had it, I thought I would talk about it. This species of spider is known as Argiope trifasciata, or the banded garden spider, also known as the banded or weaving spider. And they're part of the spam family of spider Araneidae, which are broadly known as garden spiders and or weaving spiders. They are native to North and South America, but it has now become invasive pretty much across the entire planet. This one is a female, and she is fa a fairly large spider. This one has a cephalothorax and abdomen measuring a couple of centimeters and a diagonal leg to tip to tip length of about four centimeters. Dorsally, they have black, yellow, and white stripes on their abdomen that give them the banded appellation and their cephalothorax is silvery. Their legs are also banded black and yellow and their undersides are dark with yellow markings. The males are brown and much smaller and are hard to recognize. This spider creates orb webs, hence the orb weaver name. And an orb web is what you think of when you think of a spider web. A big round web with spiral patterning, kind of like what you see in the cartoons. And they build these webs in wetlands, open grassland areas, and gardens, which is where they also get the garden spider name. The webs are usually placed in low, shrubby vegetation, sturdy enough to bear the weight of the spider. Banded garden spiders are diurnal and, are, and usually hang out at the center of their web with their head facing down. Typically, they put their rear and front pairs of legs together and resemble an X. Like most web-spitting spiders, they are alerted to prey that has become stuck in their web and then descend on the prey to wrap them up for later ingestion. They can sense this because the vibrations given off by the prey in the web are felt by the spider through their legs. Like all spiders, they are venomous but their venom is not dangerous to humans and they're not likely to bite. As you can see, I'm just holding this spider in my hands. They usually become large enough to, to see in gardens and meadows in September and October, which is the time I'm filming now. And males will usually build their smaller, less visible webs in close proximity to the larger females. Their lifespan is one year and they usually die when the first frost comes. But in places where they're invasive and warm, like Egypt, they have been observed surviving through the winter months. So now I'm going to release her in a prey-rich area to finish out her lifespan. I hope you learned a lot about the banded garden spider and enjoyed my video. I learned a lot while I was researching for this video and if you see the spider out in the wild, no they are not dangerous and they're actually a really good form of pest control. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I will see you next time on Collins Creatures.